What's up guys, how's it going? We're gonna go over how to draw ears. Ears is uh, is a funny one, and that's funny, it's, ears is actually one of those things that I I see really advanced artists screw up on still, you know, because I think it's because they're so, and, and, you know, I don't wanna be mean, but they're really ugly, you know? They're not very attractive to look at. I wanna draw the eyes, the nose, the mouth, that's because that's what you're always looking at. And the ears are just kinda like slotted onto the end of the head, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's just funny how that works. But, take time and don't ignore it. Uh, the ear is apparently what I, uh, it's not a facial feature, it's an organ from what I heard, which is strange. Uh, just some really quick mapping things. Let's say you have a head, you're starting right there, a circle, right? Let me see, I'm out of focus a little bit. Yeah, so you have that. The ear shape, when I first block it in, I, oh, first thing about it is, usually when I draw the head, I, draw, I divide it into thirds about. I have the eyes, the eye, you know, that brow line. Brow line, I have the, where the hairline's going to be, and the hairline, by that I mean, I mean the turning of where the head, uh, where the hairline would be like, um, it's kind of like the turning of planes. You got the front of the forehead, right? And then it goes back into space, right? For the rest of the skull. So roughly around there, I, I put a third a third right here on the uh, brow line and then a third over here on the bottom of the nose where the bottom of the nose would be and these are just generic measurements that to kind of get you in the area and then after you get in the area then that's when you can you know adjust it to customize whoever you want to do and you know that kind of thing so that's this is the just generic measurements but so th these are thirds really yeah but um, if you want the ears placed here's another general thirds idea It'll be in that middle third, you know, the ears, apparently. And that changes again. Remember, everyone's different. But if you want a ballpark idea to kind of, then to work off of, uh, it'd be around there. Another thing about it, it has, uh, obviously the shape, the shape changes as it's turning, right? So if you have it from the side, Let's say it's in profile completely, the head's looking that direction in profile. It's going to have that kind of shape to it. You know what I mean? The shape that we know very well. Uh, there's another one that, and then, but the, the ones that people don't really go over though, so this would be like straight up, you're looking right up and into somebody's ear canal, right? That shape, that peanut shape, and it cuts off right here with a, where it touches at the head. So if you want to change that up, I'm sorry, I changed it up. As, as, the, as it turns, let's say the head's turning toward us, it will change. And I want you to think of it like uh, it's a piece of paper that's curled up. A piece of paper that's curled up, or think of it as like, let's say like a 3D question mark. You know what I mean? So... If I was to look at the planes of this, you know what I mean? It kind of has that funnel shape, and then it has another plane up top that wraps around. If you think about it like that, that'd be three quarters, you know, meaning you can three, see three quarters of the head slowly turning toward you, you know? And then straight up front, straight up front, it is kind of a flat again, you know what I mean? It looks like a completely flat thing, and, it, and you have the ear behind it, the kind of a, that funnel shape behind attaching to the head. Oh, that makes sense right there. This is like if it's looking right toward you, you know what I mean? You do have those, I mean, I didn't put it there, but you have the ear itself, and then you have the kind of canal there that you can see the outside of the canal. All right, moving forward uh, on the ear itself, uh, let's say you're drawing it from the side here. I right, say, so, you know, stick with that question mark. I think it was Ron Lemon that, that taught me this. He said, um, think of think of the ears like a question mark, you know what I mean? You have the little dot down there, and you have the, I mean, just that general shape is pretty good. And think of a Y inside, a jammed inside of this question mark. Let's say you take a Y, and you shove it 
in this in inside this question mark shape. So you got the Y shape inside here. And then the question mark on the outside. There's some cartilage sticking out here. I've seen people get piercings in this. Oops. My pen died. One second. Let me I have to continue with a Oh, I got another pen right here. Another pen right here, the same kind. And you got some cartilage right here sticking out. That's supposed to be to protect the, you know, things from coming into it. That's pretty much all your features. All your features do have sort of function to protect it, like your eyes, the ear, the hood that you know kind of goes over it. You don't have. I mean, I guess that's also to amplify sound, but. And really, I would say take a good. Take a good like few days. Study the ear like you would study any other feature. You know what I mean? They're they're actually really when you're really fascinated in something, you'll you'll draw it better. You know what I mean? If you like it more, you're gonna you're gonna draw it better. You're gonna draw more detail into it. And I will say that the ears are if you do them wrong, they're the least noticeable thing. I will say that like people will catch very little. But if you do do it correctly, it's kind of like wow. You know, other artists will be like, okay, cool. Like I took the time to draw that ear correctly you know what I mean and not just kind of like uh, afterthought it you know what I mean so let's recap what I oh, we just went through um, one second recap what I just went through which is okay splitting the head up into thirds like I do uh, the ear would be approximately in the middle third between the brow and then the bottom of the nose the ear from straight up from if you're looking right at the ear like I'm talking about like their faces turn in profile You'll see the ears that kind of shape, this kind of like potato chip kind of shape going on, uh, peanut shape. And then as it's turning toward us, it turns to this three-quarter thing. The more you think of that, the, those dimensions, the better. And it kind of has that question mark shape. Uh, it has a question mark shape from the si right side as well. But uh, I, I like thinking about it more to to think of my depth of field, depth of, in space, you know. And then if, it's if the head is straight up toward us, it's kind of flat, you know, completely flat from the side. And you see the canal, kind of like that, I guess, the, the kind of funneling shape of the outer side of the ear. Uh, and then, like I said, a um, few couple of things. Think of the question mark with a Y shoved into it. That's that's something to, to quickly get started off of. Question mark with a Y shoved into it. Just something that I always, always, always think about, actually, now. And then uh, down here, remember this little hood in it? Like this little, uh, I don't even know what to call it. This little lever. Uh, people get piercings in sometimes. I guess people get piercings out here too. You get industrial, stuff like that. But I would say take time and then study ears right now. You know, study them a little bit. Do a full page of them. You know what I mean? Until you, you have a decent grasp on it. And then you have a, uh, like I said, you have that in your measure, in your visual library. You will have a couple of, you know, ears there you could put out there uh, for any character you do. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Uh, I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, I have a good day, guys. And oh, please share this video. Share this video or share another video of my page. I'm trying to get this channel growing more. And uh, it's actually growing a lot faster now. So thank you for your help. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.